Hiro Gangu is the powerhouse collectible toy store in Osaka. It has two floors with a very expansive collection of vintage toys and new toys. Located in the famous Denden Town District in Nippon Bashi, getting here is incredibly easy. Step off the Nippon Bashi station and make a straight shot down. It's a good walk, but I recommend it. You and I both know you can use it. The first floor is dedicated to all new toys and the newest releases. There is an expansive collection of Dragon Ball, One Piece, Super JoJo's, Gundam, Mass Rider, Transformers, Power Rangers, Saint Senya, to anything and everything that is new and popular. Of these lines, you will find the newest releases, but also some of the older, hard to find toys that have been out of production. The entire second floor is dedicated to vintage toys from the 60s to the 90s. Once through the door, you will be greeted immediately by a huge Optimus Prime and the Terminator. You will also be greeted by an electronic voice that goes off when someone walks in. It goes, welcome, which after a while you want to rip it off the wall and steal its soul because there's so much foot traffic it won't shut up. Sorry, it's, it still haunts me to this day. My favorite part of the store is the Transformers section. The entire aisle contains Transformers from every series starting from Diaclone, Generation 1, and then all the way to the newest movie releases. Not only are there tons of toys, but they also have Kabaya kits, books, fanzines, and so on. As you can see, there's a great selection of Transformer toys from every Transformers toy line. Here's a close-up of the case with G1 package toys. This case has Diaclones, E-Hobby, Exclusives, and some elusive prize toys. And here's the wall display of packaged Beast Wars. The next aisle over is all Sentai. Mostly Power Rangers, but also Mass Rider and some Ultraman. The entire aisle is packed with Megazords and figures from all the seasons. Higher end rarities and older morphers are in a case a few aisles over. At the end of the aisle, you will find a large showcase dedicated to 12 inch action figures by Hot Toys. Across from that showcase is various Sentai shows and, or anime shows and their robot toys from the 80s to the early 2000s. As you make your way to the third aisle, you come across some of the most popular toys of all time the Shogokin robots of the 70s. This is just one of the showcases of vintage die-cast robots from Popey, Bulmar, Clover, and Bandai. In another case is a grail for many collectors, the Gundam White Base from Clover. One of my favorite toy lines is Machine Robo, also known as Gobots, and in Europe, Robo Machine. I'm not even going to begin to start naming any of these vinyl vintage figures. There's just too many. And I think you get the idea. The final aisle has a corner filled with junk toys. The term junk is loosely applied to worn loose figures that can be complete or incomplete or broken. You can find a lot of awesome toys here from Power Rangers, Gundam, Godzilla, Sailor Moon, the list goes on. The rest of the aisle contains showcases with original Microman toys, and then there's also the Sentai showcase I mentioned earlier. Remember, this review is not a complete review of the store. I did not photograph a number of showcases on both floors. You're just seeing a sample of what they have. The final showcase is a small museum for the movie classics The Road Warrior and Mad Max. The owner of Hiro Gangu, Maeda, is a huge fan of these movies. In the showcases you will find almost anything and everything to do with the movies. Scripts, models, a few props, and the unproduced N2 Charger toy car. If you have any unique Mad Max items, props, or prototypes, send him an email. I appreciate you watching this haphazard review of the collectible store Hiro Gangu. The purpose of this video is to let the world know it is out there and where they can find it. On a side note, 
sorry for the bad video. We lost our original footage due to a SD card corruption and had to do a spontaneous run through before catching the last bullet train home. Again, thank you for watching and please give a thumbs up or down or write a comment. Your feedback is important how I handle the next videos. Do you want more information? Less stupid commentary? Let me know. Speaking of stupid commentary, while hanging out in the store for many hours, the electronic welcome voice really did become extremely painful to hear. I do see the staff needing counseling over in the future.